good morning on day 10 of our European tour. We are Turn right onto Maxtris, then the destination is on your right. We are in Bonn in Germany. Then I'm gonna be walking around to a shop I went to yesterday. We're gonna have a chat because this could take a while. Okay, so yesterday we made the short trip from Coblenz camping to an Airbnb that I'd booked in a town called Bonn. I think it's a town. It's very built up, as you might be able to see. Up until yesterday, everything went smooth as you like. However, yesterday things started going horrendously wrong for us and it's very, very easy to film the good stuff. But then when things start going wrong, that's when you got to dig deep because as I explained to my boy yesterday, we had our first little, we, and I've never ever got him when he's a kid because he's a good kid, now he's a man and we get on like best mates. But we had a little few words yesterday. So basically what happened was, is we drove here and all we was gonna do yesterday was catch up on our washing because we've got hardly any clean clothes left and get set up and rest to get ready for all the tours we're supposed to be doing today. Um, I posted that on Instagram, Facebook last night. If you saw them posts and now you're watching this video, we haven't gone to do them. And the reason is firstly, well, Firstly, there's an absolute miracle that's happened. I don't believe in miracles, but basically, my car, in England or wherever, if you go over like a quite a high bump, it happens where I park at my wall. It, the, the underneath of the car scrapes. Now we come away with two chargers, okay? So obviously, in Europe, that needs to go into the wall. So we went on holiday to Turkey about a month ago, and you know, the thing you put on that so it converts so you can use it. We left them, well, we've lost them both, basically, and that's on us. He left one in Eindhoven, and I left one at the last camping place, not in Coblenz, the one before that in Runkel. Oh, I'm not making excuses, but when you're on the road and you're in and out of places in one day, it's very difficult to remember everything. So we've now lost those. So what we've realized we need to do is, is to do our washing, to, to locate some chargers so we can get everything charged up and get ready to go again, obviously, the England games uh, tomorrow. I'm filming this on Monday morning. Now, when we've arrived in Bonn, it's Sunday, everything's closed. So we've Googled it, and the only thing that we found that we thought might have what we need, although we don't think they still would, is Lidl's. And then I very, very slowly, as I said earlier, about my car scraping on high bumps and high curbs, I went up this curb at about two miles an hour. I was going so slow, I actually started rolling back at one point, and there was other cars parked there. The underneath of the car did scrape, okay? And then when the underneath of the car scraped, I thought, oh, that, that didn't sound good. Anyway, turns out Lidl's isn't even in there anymore. Got back in the car, we found another little shop where I bought this from, which is where I'm going now because it doesn't work. Um, but what's happened is, I've driven back another 10 minutes, I found this shop and I've parked up. And then once I've parked up and gone in and come out, I've gone to start my car and it just, well, I've took a short video. I'll cut it in now. So now the car is absolutely spanned. It's a Sunday in a, in a place where I've never been in my life. No places are open and, and we need to move it. Now we managed to get, we'd already been into the Airbnb luckily and put most of our stuff in there. So we managed to get an Uber back there for like seven euros and took the rest of our stuff. And I said to my boy, I saw it out tomorrow. Now one thing you don't know about Bonn and I'm gonna tell you is, you could probably walk to somewhere, which I've realized now, in about three minutes, and it might take you 15 minutes to drive it. And it's not because of traffic, it's because the roads go up and back and up and back, and it's all one ways and no entries. So last night, we're in the Airbnb, we've walked in there, it's got a TV on the wall, which is a swivel bracket. I've literally put my hand on the bracket, gone like that, the whole TV's come off the wall. Okay, the Wi-Fi wasn't working, I haven't told the owner that, I did tell him the, the Wi-Fi was working, those are long screwdrivers were coming out there, I had to put that back on. The Wi-Fi doesn't work. He said he did put it on this morning about an antenna that the antenna he was waiting for. He said he put it on Airbnb, but he's lying. There's nowhere to park in here. So everywhere we stayed so far has been brilliant. And now we're in, we're in absolute fucking bits because we've got a place that we're staying in that hasn't got a TV. Yes, there's loads of bars nearby. And he's, that was his answer to me. We'll go to a bar. Well, we've been traveling for nine days. This was actually supposed to be like a bit of a rest day for us to sit in, not spend money, cook our own food, drink our own drinks. I then remembered that I brought my fire stick with me. So I Googled where the car was thinking it was miles away and it was a four minute walk. So I walked back to the car last night, okay? And I can only explain it as it's a miracle. I've turned the key. I was talking to my mate on the phone who knows a bit about cars. I've turned the key and they said to me, it sounds all right to me. It started first time. 
it's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I, I cannot work out what's happened. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. Sorry about that. My battery went because I've had to charge my phone this morning from in the car. And I just took that charger back ready to have a fucking row. And as I walked in, I said, this charger you sold me yesterday doesn't work. And she went, there you go. There's your 10 euros back. By the way, a bloke sold it to me. I weren't going to have a ruck with a, a woman. But look. It's all gone wrong, it's partly our fault. I'm trying to keep this brief, but you need to know, as I said, let's be honest, it's good when things go right for us, but if things go bad, it can make an interesting video for you lot. At this point, I'm gonna mention my car because people say, as a YouTuber, he must be loaded, he must have loads of money, he must have a lovely car. I call my car the blue bullet uh, as a joke. People I know close to me call it the blue turd. It's a full focus, it's not a new full focus, but this just shows you that, look, you can go on these trips, you can go wherever you like, and it doesn't have to cost you the earth. I paid 75 pound from Dover for a one-way ferry. Okay, I've got to pay to get back. I put 75 pound in my car the day before I left, and I put another 75 in after about day three. That's got us all the way here to Bond. So, so far I've done three lots of 75 quid, you do the math, what's that, 225? So it can be done, my car isn't great, but right now, I actually kissed it yesterday, I kissed the bonnet, because this car has just come back to life out of nowhere. I don't know what's happened, and maybe a mechanic can let me know. If you saw that video earlier on that I cut in, you can let me know um, what, what was wrong with it. But it isn't wrong with it anymore. I put a little bit of oil in it this morning, didn't really need a lot, but I put a bit in, and I, I filled it up again with petrol. So... What's also happened is, obviously I was in the car, and my fire stick was in the car. Like I said, this guy's TV wasn't working. So I've got my fire stick, we've gone back to the apartment, I've put it on, and it just won't connect to the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi's horrendous. The guy is ignoring my questions about where I can park. He actually then texted me this morning and said, you can't leave, you can't park back there, mate. Because I was parked bang outside. I was only going in temporarily because we were supposed to be going today to Leverkusen. We had the tour books in at 11. Then we was going to go because we had a Munch and Gladbach tour book in at 5. So we was going to go to Leverkusen, do the tour. Then we was going to go across the Fortuna Sittard, obviously. Zia Fleming used to play for them. So we was going to look around the ground, although we didn't have a tour book. We was going to just go there and tick it off. Then we was going to go to Genk in Belgium, which is... Sittard is right on a point of the border between Germany and Holland. So... We was going to do three countries. We was going to do four clubs because after Genk, obviously, we was going to go on to Munch and Gladbach. Um, and it's all out the window. Another reason it's out the window, and this is slightly embarrassing, but look, it's all on the line of this trip, and I don't really give a fuck anymore. I'm 44 years old. I'm past all caring about what people think and wanting to look good in front of people. So I'm a fat bastard, yes, but that is the, not the complete reason that I have sleep apnea. I, since a kid, I used to be an outpatient at an ear, ear nose, and throat clinic. Um, I was a little bit chunky as a kid, but not like I am now, obviously. So I always had ear infections. I had um, blocked sinuses, and they was going to give me an operation to clear it. So I've always snored horrendously. So I've got a sleep apnea mask. With the mask, I don't snore, but I can't plug it in because we haven't got any charges. Again, that's on me. So I've woke up in the night, and my poor boy is not there in the single bed next to me. Two single beds where we are. I'll show you around there later. I can't, I woke up, it wasn't there, I absolutely shit myself. I started screaming his name out. I've gone to run in the bathroom, I couldn't open the door. He's asleep on the bathroom floor. So I feel fucking bad, because obviously I've caused that. Are we unorganised? I don't know. We've been very organised to this point, and everything's gone right. So I've tried to wake him up this morning for a Leverkusen tour. I woke up about 8 o'clock, walked back down that shop to take my charger back. And it wasn't open until 10, so I've just gone back again now in the car. I woke him up and I was talking about the tour and he's, he's falling asleep mid-sentence. So I said to him, look, get in bed. I'm going to go out for a couple of hours, which I did. I've gone back and he's, he's dead to the world. So we, we've missed the Leverkusen tour now. It doesn't matter because it cost me £17 for us both to do it. And I'll just rebook it. And what I'm going to do now when my boys are asleep, I'm going to go and do all of our washing. And I'm going to go and try and locate a proper, you know, an Apple shop so I can get... Some, some German charge. There's no point keep trying to find these converters because you're not going to get them out here, are you? Because they're for English people to work in Europe, not vice versa. So I'm going to go and locate some stuff, get our washing done, get straight. And then if all that goes to plan, maybe we'll go to Munch and Gladbach this afternoon. Honestly, it's all gone wrong in Bonn. So look, I'm just going to leave the camera rolling a bit here so you can get an idea of what these streets are like. Turn left onto Weierstrass, then turn right onto Franzstrass. There you go, sort of shit you're dealing with every day. Turn right onto Franzstrass, then turn right onto Heerstrass. 
Turn right onto Heerstress, then turn right onto Wolfstress. See what I'm saying? Turn left onto Petterstress, then turn left onto Polstress. I mean, come on. Turn left onto Polstress, Get off my then the destination is on your left. Blast this, my boy. Look, things can go wrong. We're doing a lot of travelling. We're doing a lot of driving, we're doing a lot of the unknown, and, and if things can go wrong, the worst thing you can do in that situation is sulk or get angry. You've got to go, okay, this is the situation, this is the problem, how do we solve it? And, and we have solved it. The blue turd's come back to life. Fucking up the blue turd. Okay, there is the lingerie, the wash salon. But, as per usual, know it to park, and you've got to go right, right, left, 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 gobble. Right, we're in machine two. I said things can only get better. We've got an English setting. The wash is on, 45 minutes, I can go back. It's currently 12 o'clock and I'm on my way to, high bumps give them a miss, Jesus. Um, I'm currently on my way to a mobile phone shop to try and get a charger for an iPhone. And then I'll go back pick the washing up, go home, and hopefully by that point the boy will be awake, we can get up and about, I can show you around the apartment, thank the people that donated, because I want to do that, I've written down the list, but I've left that indoors, and then we can hopefully still go to the Borussia Mönchengladbach tour at 5pm, and then rebook the Leverkusen one for another day, I think we're just waiting for a train here to go across or a tram. Like I said, once again, nowhere to park the car. So I parked it there. Need that, don't I? Must be the sound center. Thank you. Beautiful. Only 12 euros as well. And it's got one of them things that will charge a phone. And it will charge my MacBook, so we're back in the game. It's quite nice here, I've overlooked it at the minute because I'm just stressing out about other stuff. Right, I've collected the washing, as I said. I think I've mentioned it, there's nowhere to park in Bond whatsoever. I've just had to drive and park across these lovely people's driveway and there's someone underneath my car saying, I'm pretty sure, don't park here. I'm actually blown out my ass. it's boiling hot, but all the carnage looks to be over. Right. It is now, it's about 4.30. The Munchen Gladback tour was at 5 p.m. The day of chaos has just completely continued and just escalated. By the way, fun fact before I get into the absolute carnage is um, Beethoven was born here. I was driving earlier on and I saw a mural on a wall and I've looked it up and yeah, he was born in Bonn. He definitely wouldn't have died in Bonn because he would have got out of here as soon as he could. <laughs> like I'm planning to. So earlier on I said to you, I'm sure, and I just might have showed you a little clip of the guy in here. Basically, this is on a swivel bracket, okay? I'm not gonna fucking dare touch it again. There. And obviously, here's the two beds, by the way. The two singles pushed together. Bed covers are a bit lively. But it's not too bad, look, and it's, it's clean. But what happened was, obviously, I've come in last night and I've just put my hand there like that and just done that, and the two top brackets have pulled away the screws and the raw, raw plugs have pulled away so i'm like shit so i said to my boy help me put something under it fucking hell look the wind just swung around and hit me on the head <laughs> sorry right carry on <laughs> jesus christ this place is cursed i'm telling you not this place in particular this this town i think or this city wherever it is so picture this we're standing here, me and him. I've took the telly completely off the wall because it was hanging off, and I thought I'll try and put it back, do the geezer a favour. Obviously, I used to be a bit of a builder, so <laughs> I'm standing here. He's got a t he's got the TV in one hand. I've got it in the other. I've got my derby out, no t-shirt on. The door is open. Fucking the host walks in, whose place it is, and he went, "What the hell is going on here?" <laughs> and I went, "It's falling off the wall." He went, "I see it, bro." Gun. Then we were both sort of standing. Here. <laughs> I'm trying to, we put the telly on the bed. I'm trying to put a t-shirt on and he's screaming and shouting. And I said to him, like, it's come loose. So I've taken it off before it falls off. And he said, it has been on the wall for a year and now all of a sudden it comes off. Didn't he? Yeah. 
At which point, I'm not going to make out of an hard nut because I'm not, I'm not like that. But I, be, I did fuck him completely off. I didn't. I just got, I just pointed him and said, do not talk to me like that. Do not talk to me like that. I said, this is a joke, this place. No parking, by the way. I mean, he's worried about self and safety. Hang on, mate. So basically, look. He's just left. He's fixed the telly. He's all apologetic now because he, he's, he's got some sort of Wi-Fi thing in it. The telly still doesn't work. So we're going to go and watch the football in a minute. But this is basically the Airbnb, and it's actually really nice. We've got our washing hanging up. He said to us, what is this about the washing? I said, well, we're travelling, mate. What do you want us to do? Yeah, so that's the bathroom. Shower's really nice. It's all good. That's like a little handy utility cupboard. And then this is sort of the kitchen where you can make your bits and bobs. That's some of our stuff there. And then obviously a little place to eat your food. A bit of a dated wardrobe with some... Fast and art on the walls, but apparently they're quite expensive. Two beds and then a great big beautiful telly. That does not work. So I want to say thanks to the following people because this cost us, it cost £137.96 for three nights. I want to thank the following people that donate to the channel. James Penny, Daniel Chaplin, Hal Arnold, Ben Baker, Dennis who we met in Coblins, you saw him the other day in the video, Ian Davenport, Russell Nevercott, Sean Coleman, Rob Quinn, Andrew Pitches, the legend is Colin Moon, and Barry Chapman, thanks a lot for everyone for donating. We're now going to have to go down to the local bar to watch the football because you can't watch it in Peter's flat. When everything goes wrong in your day, there's only one answer to solve all your problems. And this is it. Starting route to Domino's Pizza. Oh, I forgot to say earlier, I've got such a lack of clean clothes. I'm actually wearing swimming trunks today. Just come to soak up a little bit of local cuisine. Now this is going to spark things off. Pineapple on pizza, best thing ever. People are going to think we're off making this up now. We've just popped out, as you've seen. We've come back. We asked him earlier for a spare key. Because I popped out earlier. This morning, and it's just, it's just easier for us to have two keys so I can go out and about if I need to. While he chills during the day. He's given me another key, I've just gone to use it. And he said, oh, no, that's not for the apartment, that's for the front door. I said, right, have you got a spare one for the front door? Because we're now standing in the street. Luckily, the window's open. I can climb up there if I need to with a ladder. He said, unfortunately not. I said, okay, what would you suggest? <laughs> what? Yeah, this is enough enough for this place now. Right, it's just let us back in. I've absolutely had enough for this place now. We were supposed to be going out tonight down there. But I've just said to the boy, I think we're going to pack up and get out of here. And just book somewhere else tomorrow because it has been like fucking 40 towers since we got here. I've had enough. Tomorrow's match day. Let's hope we turn up against Slovenia. See you tomorrow.